Welcome back to the channel, good friends. Brian from Apex Detail. Today, we're going to take a look at yet another affordable entry-level polisher for those just starting out. If you want to take care of your own car, if you want to start your own detailing venture, this is the ShineMate ERO 600 G1 Plus. This is a 600 watt dual action polisher, 2500 to 6500 orbits per minute, and it has a nine millimeter throw or oscillation. So slightly larger than some of the entry level polishers, uh, but the 600 watt motor will keep you from getting into a lot of trouble. Included in the kit, of course, the polisher itself with a 16-foot cord, very impressive, a junior service cord, the instruction manual, warranty card, they do send along a pad. You have the handle, an extra set of brushes. We have the wrench for the backing plate, and they send along a 5-inch backing plate instead of coming along with a standard 6-inch backing plate and letting you going uh, out and, and searching for your own 5-inch backing plate. And an extra counterweight, which is a bit different from some of the other polishers, and I will explain why when we get into the look inside segment. All right, let's get to the closer look segment of the video. Uh, right away, you'll notice on the top of the polisher, you'll have the orbits per minute, and that will be a chart that will coincide with the speed that you select. The speed selector is here, and there is no tactical feedback. Um, that's quite common with these entry-level cheaper polishers. The power triggers on the side, you guys know I don't like these, but they are another common feature on the cheaper polishers as well. I'll show you one of many reasons I don't like them when we get to the look inside segment, but just having it out here, and all you have to do is really bump on it and it'll power down uh, there is no like uh, exo plastic or exo rubber skin for grip on either the shaft or the platypus um, handle portion of the polisher itself the counterbalance uh, the counterweight this is one of two that they send with so uh, this one here that is already installed is for a five inch backing plate and let me reach over and grab this one here and as you can see it is stamped with a six inch backing plate on the bag so this one will have a little bit different weight so when you throw a different size backing plate and pad on there your vibration will be held to a minimum here you'll find the model number, the ERO 600. It quite simply translates to a 600 watt motor, uh, and that is placed on top of a P6 GF30 plastic encasement, which just simply means it's nylon that's reinforced with 30%. Uh, fibers and that leads to our power cord which is a you know, rather impressive 16 feet but it's an SJT junior service quite common on the entry level polisher and the T means thermal so it's that hard plastic instead of you know stiff instead of the nice soft rubbery cords all right, let's get to the look inside segment when it comes to the counterbalance if you want to swap these out that's just a simple pan head Phillips head screwdriver we're going to leave that on for now let's get to the handle or the shroud for the gearbox and get that off we're going to switch this over to a regular screwdriver take out these plastic cap screws here flip it over and the handle will slide straight back. That will reveal a, a locking pin, and we're gonna push this in. That way we can spin this counterclockwise to get the counterbalance or the balance weight off of there, so we can get to some screws and remove the shroud itself. As we take a look at the internal build, it has similarities to a quality build. We want to look for the directional fan to keep, keep the internals uh, nice and cool. We want to make sure the uh, laminates are nice and clean. The field windings are tight and uh, uh, coated. And we want to look for epoxy where the field windings meet the commutator. We want to look for sealed bearings. And this has everything we're looking for. The nice directional fan here. The field windings are indeed coated. Laminations are gorgeous, nice and clean. 
the epoxy holds the the uh, field windings to the commutator so all the vibration we're getting from these polishers guys over a long period of time just one of these comes loose you have a short the motor goes and you are done for the day uh, seal bearings and everything is looking good in the inside the business end of the polisher is looking good as well. Nice clean wiring with uh, shrink wrap spade connectors. The PCB board down underneath this plate here is coated that uh, fights moisture and dust. Again, I wish there was some tactile feedback when it comes to the, the speed dial itself. The brass encasings for the, the brushes and also the coil spring holding them in. Everything seems to be fine. Everything is looking good so far. The standard 8 amp switch as well. As we take a look inside here, we can see the field windings are coated and the trigger, the, the part I don't like, this arm reaches all the way back through here to the 8 amp switch when we turn it on. You can see just how close that gets to the field windings in there. All it takes is it to short one of those out you have some serious problems. With it all back together, we can mention it does come with a five inch backing plate, well vented with a nylon washer. You don't need the washer mod with this one. As you can see, plenty of space for the backing plate to spin without hitting the shroud, about a good quarter inch. And, as I mentioned, they do send along a pad as well. Well, the next question that would be asked, can this polisher get anything done? Can it remove defects? Well, let me grab some uh, 2500 grit sandpaper. We'll take a trip down through this mess and back on the door here, and we'll just uh, throw the Eurofiber 5050 pad on and grab some 3D1. The noise, not overbearing. Uh, when it comes to the vibration, uh, you know, it's tolerable. It's not the smoothest thing, but it's an entry-level polisher. The vibration, the sound is what you would expect out of uh, a more economical entry-level polisher. And as you can see here, you can absolutely get work done with the polisher.
That will bring us to the final thoughts segment of the video. The Shimate E600, a 600 watt polisher, entry level, economical, 110 US dollars, and you have yourself a way to get your feet wet. When it comes to taking care of the finish of your own car, or if you're starting your own business and you want to expand from basic services like just washes and basic cleaning into one steps and enhancements, this is the way to get started. Get used to the way a polisher reacts in your hands. Uh, get to know the movement. Get to know the correction speed. Pick yourself a nice, safe pad and correction fluid to team up with this, and you really won't get in trouble with a 9mm throw with a 600 watt motor. Uh, so if you have any questions on the polisher, don't hesitate at all. When it comes to a rating on the channel, it's going to be unimpressive. I can't really go that much higher than that when it comes to polishers unless I have a year or two and hundreds of corrections with the machine to tell me how durable they are, how they hold up to um, inclement weather, heat, cold, dust, and everything else. So this has been Brian from Apex Detail. I will catch you in the next video.